Hey everybody, it's Ashley with Local Vibe, and I am in Gulf Shores with Miss Allison Pryor, and you are with Alabama's Coastal Foundation. Alabama right? Coastal Foundation, Alabama ACF Coastal for sure. Foundation. Tell everybody what you guys do. This is so cool. All right. So Alabama Coastal Foundation is an organization that looks out for our ecotourism, our sustainability, and really protecting our environment, and making sure that everybody else knows about the same. Man, there are so many things that you guys have going on. The, you got to go to the website, but so there's some dates that we want to remember. I know tonight you've got some stuff going on. Tell everybody about that. So tonight we kick off our sea turtle volunteer meetings. Uh, tonight will be at the Erie Mai Center in Gulf Shores. Tomorrow will be at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab on Dauphin Island. Nice. So these meetings will have a chance for the new volunteers to come in and meet our team leaders, mm -hmm. to learn about the responsibilities, and to be able to divide up between the teams uh, along the beach areas. Yeah, because we have a lot of sea turtles that come to our area, and they need to be protected. Absolutely. Between that's... May and, and October, that's mm -hmm. our sea turtle season yeah. peak, and people don't understand what their responsibilities are for the environment. Yeah. When sea turtles, when the mamas come oh and they God. lay their eggs, we have to help protect them because they're very mm -hmm. vulnerable at that time. Yeah. We lose a lot of the eggs during the season. Mm, really? Um, a lot of predators, you know, you've got your, your natural creatures that are in the Gulf Coast, they, mm -hmm. they use them, you know, they eat them. Sure. Um, some of them people will go and they'll dig them up and they mm -hmm. think that they're, you know, pets or think they're a souvenir. Sea but, turtles are yeah. not pets, y'all. They belong in the sea. For sure. Absolutely. So we, we try to help the environment by protecting them and protecting their nests. Yeah. And that's what these volunteers are learning how to do tonight, tomorrow night. Wow. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's something to get into, too. Absolutely. We have a, a lot of volunteers. It's incredible to watch them. I've, I've got to witness it one time in my life that they were just covering the beach, going all the way. It was the most spectacular thing I've ever seen. Yeah, so I've ever never actually seen a boil, which is, is what they're called when they, when they come out. It's amazing. Um, I, I've heard it's um, skin tingling. <laughs> it is. It I'm, I'm looking is. forward to maybe being able to see those. Yeah. Um, I'm not much of a in the middle of the night kind of person, mm -hmm. but I, I might be coerced one, one of these yeah, days to go out there at sure. 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and, <laughs> and see a nest if it's, if it's starting to hatch. I love that. Well, I know that there's some new stuff coming up for the Hangout Festival, too. So yes. Tell us about that. So in, in the year. past several years, uh, we have Alabama Coastal Foundation has worked with the Eco Team, and they have provided the, the volunteers not only for the paid positions that are several shifts during the day for all three days, mm -hmm. but the volunteer positions. This year, the Hangout has decided to do a little bit different program through Eco Team. And if you're going to be a volunteer, we need you to go to the website and sign up. Go ahead and pay for your ticket in advance. And then after your, the end of your last shift on Sunday, you will be reimbursed for your weekend ticket. Okay. Now, for the paid members, they, they do not have to prepay for their ticket. Mm -hmm. But, of course, they have to work all three shifts to be able to get their paycheck from sure. Alabama Coastal Foundation and Eco Team. Right. Well, I definitely encourage you guys to go to their Facebook and like and follow them so you can keep up to date because every month y'all have something going on. You have a lot of things going on. We do have a lot of things going on. Um, the rest of, of the month is, mm -hmm. is going to be busy. We've got Connect to Your Coast coming back to us. If you have any, any questions that you want to know about the environment and sustainability, the next meeting is going to be on the 21st Thursday in Mobile at Wingman Brewery. And so people that are like-minded, mm -hmm. uh, those that are concerned about the environment, just want to get involved, just have questions, and you just want to network, that's a good place to start off. And, and those are going to be every month for the next several months. Awesome. Oh, and you got a bike ride coming up. We do have a bike ride coming up, too, in yeah. fact. So uh, one on Saturday is the Crepe Myrtle Bicycle Ride. That's this Saturday? Uh, that is this coming Saturday, coming the 23rd in Mobile. And you can go on the Facebook page, or you can actually look us up online on our joinacf.org. That's our website. You can look up some information on that ride, as well as the one in May. Mm -hmm. So in May, there are four dates for the Good Life Bicycle Ride. That is going to be held at Lake Shelby over there by the lodge off of the beach road. And for those four dates, we're going to meet each morning at 8.30 a.m., Oh yeah. get some educational training with safety, and then at 8.30, you're going to start riding. So the ride will take you nine miles through the Gulf State Park, Stop for about 30 minutes at the Nature Center, uh, have a little educational talk with one of our members, and then continue on. And if you choose to eat at Woodbridge then, or Woodside, then everybody gets to kind of eat together and nice. just enjoy yourselves. And it's just something that brings um, 
awareness to bicycle safety. Yeah. We do have sponsors that do help to, to donate to make this, uh, this bike ride a success. I love that. I love that. You guys, I encourage you to go on their Facebook, stay up to date with what's going on with uh, Alabama Coastal Foundation. And we're going to post a website so you guys can be easy for you to get to. Check it out. So, Absolutely. Joinacf.org. Um, if you just want to become a, a, just a volunteer during the year, there is a spot there for you to volunteer. Oh, we'll put it. you in our database because uh-huh. Share the Beach is always going to be looking for volunteers. Yeah. Um, when we have some more information on our Oyster Shell Recycling Program, right. we will Y'all be posting that. that. Yes, we yes. do that as well. Uh, many of our restaurants are included in that program. Oh, wow. So instead of throwing your oyster shells into the trash mm-hmm. to just you know, go to the dump. They're going to go to the landfill. They, they would go to the landfill. Mm-hmm. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to build up our natural reefs. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, and, and, and build up our oyster beds, because mm-hmm. if you have oysters that are going to grow within the oyster shells, that helps them to protect them while yeah. they're young. Wow. And it helps them while their shells are being formed. So I did not know that. Yeah. And there, and there are incentives. Yeah. Yeah. Restaurants have incentives for, for participating in the program too. So they so not cool. only make cool jewelry yeah. um, and cool artwork, they yeah. are helpful for our coastal environments as well. That's incredible. You guys, there is so much to learn on at the website. So I definitely encourage you to go to the website, like and follow them on Facebook and stay up to date. Okay. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thanks.